What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys another Black Ops 2 video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at the new Zombies game mode Turned that just came out with the new Black Ops 2 DLC pack. So I wanted to make a video on this because well first of all this game type is so much fun. If you guys haven't tried it yet you definitely have to. It's super super fast paced and it really keeps you on your toes. It's a lot of fun. But also I wanted to make this video to give you guys a preview of it and give you a few tips because I was able to play this before most everybody else was. Treyarch invited quite a few YouTubers out to the offices the other day, let us play early and let us record early. So this will probably be one of the first videos on YouTube about turn and, and I can give you guys kind of an introduction to it and let you know what to expect while you're downloading the maps or are waiting to buy them or whatever you're doing. So uh, what is turn? Well it's a new game type where for the first time ever you can actually play as the zombie and attack humans which obviously is a lot of fun it's something we've never seen before and, and it's just really enjoyable I mean these games are pretty short they're super fast paced lots of action it's it's really addicting to play so how it works is there's one human on the map at any point in time and the rest of the people in the game are trying to attack him and the goal is to be the human the longest because when you're the human you earn points it's kind of like having a domination flag where like every three to five seconds I'm not sure exactly what it is you uh, you earn points for being the human so the goal is to be the human the longest because then you'll win the game so uh, how this works is Everybody starts off as a zombie right at the start of the match and the goal is to find the cure which is just a power up It looks kind of like double points or insta kill or something like that And the first zombie to find the cure becomes the first human and then they fend themselves off with weapons There's two different types of weapons you can have I'll explain that in a second and the other zombies run at this human trying to take them out And they try to melee him and the first zombie that gets to melee that human becomes the next human So it's kind of like a big game of reverse tag you want to be the human so you're running at the the guy that's it and you want to get him so you can become it now the thing is is zombies are a lot faster than the humans in this game type I don't remember what the ratio is exactly I can't remember what Jimmy said but I think he said something about zombies are 75% faster than humans or humans run at 75% the speed of zombies I'm not exactly sure but regardless it means that zombies are faster so the humans can't outrun the zombies they can't just run trains and run in circles and evade everybody they have to set up they have to get behind cover they have to put their back in a corner and they have to shoot at the zombies which makes the game a lot more fast-paced now, a second ago I told you that the human can have two different types of guns, and that's because there's two different game modes in this new mode. There's reverse gun game, and there's shotgun. So, with reverse gun game, it's kind of like gun game. You go through a line of weapons, and it gets progressively worse as you get towards the end. So you start off with the Executioner, you go to the M1216, you go to the M27, then the Chickum, then I think there's one more thing I can't remember, and then finally you're left with a pistol, which is pretty much impossible to kill zombies with. Now, in the other game type, in Shotgun, this one's pretty cool as well, this one's a little bit more hardcore, in Shotgun, you have an Olympia with just two shells in it. So you get two shots, and then you have to switch to your pistol and shoot at zombies with your pistol. Which again, the pistol is almost impossible to kill zombies with because they're way too fast. So, uh, you know, both of these game types have their goods and bads. I mean, with the reverse gun game, you're really, really, really vulnerable when you're switching your weapon. Like when you get a kill with the Executioner and switch the M1216, that's usually when zombies will get you. But in the other one, the pretty much max number of kills you can get with this setup is just two with the Olympia because you aren't going to get any kills with the pistol. Now, uh, apart from all of this stuff the zombies being faster the different types of guns that the human can have there are also power-ups in this game type some are for the human some are for the zombies some are for both so green power-ups can be picked up by the human red power-ups can be picked up by the zombies and purple power-ups can be picked up by either team now these are the ones that I've seen so far there might be a few more but these are the ones I know there's insta kill which allows the human to kill the zombies quicker and obviously that's gonna be very very useful if you're on your last pistol there's max ammo which means it gives ammo to the human but if the zombie team gets max ammo then they deplete the ammo for the person that's human at that time so they have no way to defend themselves and they can just go claw them up and become the human for double points Obviously the same thing as it would be in any other game type the human gets double points or for zombies if the zombies get double points It counts for the whole team or the bomb the nuke that blows everything up if the human gets this it freezes and kills all the zombies on the map if the zombies get this, whichever zombie gets this, it freezes and kills the human, and the zombie that got it becomes a human. So the bomb is very, very, very useful if you're a zombie. Make sure you look out for it because it automatically makes you the human. And then finally, there's monkey bombs, which Jimmy told me they did the same thing as you would expect them to do. 
but I haven't seen him in action yet, so we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, anyway, yeah, so those are pretty much all the basics for this game. You guys understand how to play it, you understand how to win. Now let me give you guys a couple of tips that will help you do better than everybody else. So uh, number one is kind of obvious, and it's that timing and knowing when to attack as a zombie is everything. Don't run around like a chicken with your head cut off just bum rushing the human like no other. You want to wait and be smart about it. Let other zombies run in first. Usually just one other zombie ahead of you is the best option because he'll force the human to kill him and then have to switch weapons and gun game or run out of ammo in the shotgun mode and that way the human is defenseless, he's already wounded and you can just move in for the kill. Now you can also just run at the human if you want to but learn how to juke. Usually you're going to want to play on a higher sensitivity in this game type because you're so fast as a zombie if you can dart back and forth across the human screen you're gonna make it tough for him to hit you now the next tip I've got for you guys is make sure you swipe with both arms at the human a lot of people only use the right trigger and the right arm to swipe at the human and try to kill him you want to use both right and left triggers to swipe with both arms give you a bigger kill radius and give you a better chance of becoming that next human and then finally the last tip I've got for you guys is actually really really useful and I don't think most people would figure this out on their own but Jimmy Zelensky told me that the zombie in the lobby with the blue eyes is the lobby leader all the other zombies have orange eyes but the one with the blue eyes is the lobby leader so if you see him running at the human you definitely want to beat him to it because you want to be able to get more points than him so uh, anyway there you guys go that is my kind of review and tip video of the new turn zombies game type hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you check it out this game type is a lot of fun and and who knows i might live stream it soon or something like that but uh, anyway Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've got another Black Ops 2 video coming out later today about the Peacekeeper, so make sure you check back for that. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.